this is the tour of my Lexus RX 400 uh, pretty much my RV life the van life I'm doing on this SUV so it's kind of messy I gotta clean it up uh, She has 214,000 miles on it. I have been maintaining it very well. Um, here and there I had some issues because I was driving off-road a lot. Um, so pretty much this is the entrance and I have the cleaning supplies here. I sh actually, I should be moving all of that into that that side. Um, I have my Go one GoPro mounted right here, so it can record all the uh, everything where I go. I got my national park pass. I keep my water, my clothes, my pillow, and my uh, blanket at night. And when I want to work, or eat, I have this. So, I'll be um using this to eat and work uh, it's not bad it's pretty stable it could be much better but it's better than anything um i have all good tires so that's a must for the road trip I have all my food here I have like extra yeah uh, I have extra bags I should be storing it somewhere else oh wow it's a mess this goes here so all my food is here um, I got canned food, you know, coconut curry, so whatever it is, I have it. And I have coconut powder, tea and coffee here. This I bought it to in Mexico to take it home, but you know that's not the most convenient to store stuff up um, this is my snacks so let me put that in and i have my water here but i have my cooler here so when i fold down the seat when i'm and i can ha i have access to the um cooler this is my chair this is my stove. I think I'm pretty sure it's upside down. Okay. It's a. Uh, I bought it from an Asian store. Uh, it's really easy. You do this. Uh, and you have fire. Um, I should get a Coleman one. Much stronger. Um, and they are much more durable I think I had this with me so I just brought it in uh, see everything's flimsy and I, I kind of hate it I, I don't hate it I think it's pretty good um, I have my foldable bag when I go to the grocery store I can put this and I have my table which is 
uh, it's pretty foldable I bought it from Aria it's very useful highly recommended this product uh, I use it every day then I have my kettle the soap dishes napkins everything here then I have my laundry detergent and the fuel for the stove down there inside I have all the car stuff like brake cleaner extra oil coolant something that's hidden I have this I bought this at Walmart after the second time I have been just filling with the uh, like a regular faucet uh, this is for washing and everything and these are for drinking um, then I put everything back after I cook and and this is my chair and these are the shades when I go to sleep at night this is what I have um, I what I do is first this is how I sleep that was dumb. I shouldn't have thrown it though that way because I had to get it. I do is, this is the camper mode. This is available on all the Lexus RXs. I got bottled water underneath. Let me move that. Oh, yeah. yeah, before you fold it, just check what's underneath. Okay, once I fold it down, I have a very nice, comfortable bed. this it's really nice first few days I was kind of um, hurting because I'm not used to it but after that um, I got used to it and I'm pretty comfor comfortable with it so at night this is what I do with the shades I Put them like this. I can't do it with one hand somehow. And pretty much I put it like this. Shut the window. Shut the door. Then go to the back. Also. Put it like this. Shut the door right there. Then once I get in. I just hold it like this and shut it and I have all the privacy then I do it all four corners then in the morning I fold everything up and I bought this from a Walmart for like 13 bucks. Actually everything, pretty much everything I have, almost everything is from Walmart. Then I put it down there. I'm not the most organized person. This is the most organized it's gonna get. So everything's pretty accessible. I have some tools underneath here in case if it breaks down something um, and I 
I drove a lot of overlanding. I take this car a lot of places you're not supposed to take this car. Then I then I pretty much uh, go underneath and check all the suspension bolts like control arm bolts keep getting loose so I have to retalk them all the time. Uh, now I know when they get loose. Uh, the steering kind of get wobbly and you, you'll get knocks and all that. And what I do is just retalk them. I need to remove them and use some thread locker uh, and retalk them. Maybe get new bolts as well. The good thing about hybrid is you can keep it running. I have ran, I ran this car for two weeks straight. Just stop it for just for filling up gas. Other than that, it just keeps running. It uses barely uses any gas. Um, that's my power station. Pretty much, that needs big organization. I did a, did some ghetto wiring. So I have 110 volts and all my charging like for my drone to everything it will be charging here uh, and uh, my laptop eh, like so many things that I need to charge everything charges there uh, then all I do is just keep driving um driving to places constantly and it's been great uh, i just do oil changes on time and clean it up and everything's you know super reliable and i have my check engine light reader the obd code reader that and basic tools uh, for toyotas you need you know at least eight millimeter to 17 millimeter all the sockets then you know in case something is goes wrong even if you're not mechanically inclined it's better to have some tools because in case something goes wrong there might be someone who can help with mechanical you know knowledge so at least if you have tools there is um, you know you're prepared um, uh, this is how I this is the baby I used to come across the country east to west now I'm going Pacific Coast up maybe to Washington State more uh in if you're doing this trip always recommend a toyota i always do because i have driven 5000 miles and it didn't lose any oil like with this mileage and car is not losing any oil that's a plus